Yo, peace, what's up, family? This is your big brother, Big Mike, checking in. Real Talk TV, hope you guys are having a blessed day and thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. Yeah, first things first, shout out to my subscribers, man. Thank you to each and every single one of you guys who rock with the channel, who rock with the content. Thank you for helping me get to over 19,000 subs. I cannot have done this without you guys and I'm grateful to each and every one of you guys who truly and genuinely rock with the channel and the content, man. I cannot say enough um, to say thank you. And um, yeah, I could do this all day, but if nobody supports me, if no one subscribes to the channel, then it's all in vain. So thank you to each and every one of you guys who subscribe. Got a little surprise for y'all on top of that, all right? Oh yeah, not to mention, if you're not subscribed, I hope you feel inclined to do so, right there at the bottom right corner. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when I drop new content. Hit that like button, hit me up in the comments. Also share the video, okay? All right, guys, so, I want to announce my next giveaway once I reach 23,000 subscribers. I'm going to do something in honor of 23,000 subscribers. What is that, you might ask? Bam. Here we go. First thing. I will announce three winners for my giveaway once I reach 23,000 subscribers. First item up for grabs, an authentic Michael Jordan, North Carolina jersey. Now, this may be too big for some of y'all. If you can't fit it, flip it. <laughs> Get you some coin, you feel me? But here it is. Look at that beauty right there. Just to show you guys, it's not a game. Certified Authentic. There you go, not a game. Second item, up for grabs. Ready? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> the Air Jordan 13s. Never worn, brand new, all right? I had these sitting on ice for a while, but I got enough shoes, as my wife would tell you, so it wouldn't hurt me to give away a pair, you feel me? But yeah, that's gonna be item number two, size 12. These are a size 12. So again, like with the jersey, if you can't fit it, flip it. Get you some coin for this, all right? There's people out there who would definitely buy these up off you, all right? That's the second one. Third item will be, I will give a loyal subscriber $230 cash. I'll cash app you however, you know, whatever method of payment you choose or which one ever you prefer. It'll be a loyal subscriber that I give $230 to once I reach 23,000 subscribers. So if you got somebody who may need to listen to some of the content I put out, put them onto the channel, and you know what I'm saying, the most subscribers I get, once I reach 23,000 subscribers, I will announce that giveaway. I know it's a little while from now, but hey, the bigger the number, the bigger the giveaways get, all right? So yeah, pass the word out, and hopefully that when that time comes, you'll be one of the few lucky ones who win, all right? All right, man, but anyway, yeah, man, just wanna be a blessing to you guys who are blessing to me. But anyway, since I put that out there, done talking about that. Let me get into the topic here on this video, man. I wanna to talk to you guys real quick about if you don't have any friends, if you feel like, man, it just seem like I can never make any friends or I'm all alone, I don't got nobody to hang with or whatever the case is, listen, don't fret that, all right? Do not fret not having any friends at the moment because let me tell you, man, Based on my life experience, with all I've been through in my life, I'll be the first to tell you, no friends is better than fake friends. A lot of you guys out there got people who you think are your friends right now, who you think are in your corner, who you think got your back when the time comes for it. And you'll be surprised when that time comes and you need them most and they show themselves not to be reliable, not to be the person you thought they were, or they betray you, you come to find out real quick you really don't have the friends you think you do. 
Now, some of you guys do. I'm not saying that everyone in your circle is a snake. I'm not saying that everyone is disingenuous. I'm not saying that at all. <clears throat> but what I'm saying, if you are fretting over not having any friends, don't beat yourself up about that. Because it is much better to be alone, it's much better to be at peace with your sanity than it is wondering who's for you and who's not. Having fake friends. I had fake friends in my life. As I got older and I realized, okay, people gonna grow apart, things are gonna happen, I understand all of that. But the number of times I got stabbed in the back, I can't even count it. So that's why nowadays that I have fewer friends, my circle is a lot smaller than it used to be, I'm at peace. I enjoy this. Trust and believe. I don't need a whole lot of friends. Sure, I really don't need friends at all. As long as I got my wife and I got Jesus, I'm good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, friends are cool. I mean, it's nothing wrong with having friends. And if you have genuine, true friends, consider yourself blessed. Because it goes a lot further than just having somebody to hang around and share common interests with. It goes a lot further than that. Just because you got somebody in your circle right now, you, may, you guys may go out and have a great time on the weekends, you guys may drink together, you guys may laugh and joke and kid around together, that's all fine and dandy. You can do that with anyone. I have a lot of associates, don't get me wrong. I have a lot of people that I know, people that know me, people I can get favors from if I need it, you know, because I respect them, you know, and they, you know, and I reciprocate, et cetera, et cetera. But when it comes to real, loyal, true friends, they are few and far between. Very few and far between. Now, like I was saying a minute ago, you got someone, y'all may hang out on the weekends, you may be together almost every single day. But when you need someone the most, when you need someone to lean on, when you're going through it, who's in your corner then? Friends are not determined by all of the blessings that you got in your life and all the good times that you have it. It is determined by when you really hit, you really going through that valley, you're really going through it. You need, some, you need somebody in your corner, somebody who can stand up for you in your absence. That's the mark of a true friend. And very few of us have people like that, that you know when you call them, without a doubt, they're gonna be there. They're reliable. They're, ha they're happy for you. They cheer when you win. They're more happy for you than you are for yourself. A true friend will also keep you out of trouble. A lot of you guys got people that you claim are your friends, but if they're really your friend, they will pull you away from trouble when they see it brewing up. They're not gonna lead you into the slaughterhouse to get hurt. If, you are out, if you're out and something occurs with you and someone else, and this friend sees trouble brewing, they're gonna pull you away from that situation. Now, granted, if push comes to shove and they have no other alternative, yeah, they got your back if it comes to that. But if they are egging you on to get in trouble, if they are egging you on to commit crimes and to do things that's gonna destroy your life, those are not friends. Point blank, period. I don't care how much you, two th how much you think that's your friend, how long you knew them, if you deem them your friend just because you guys share things that's ultimately not benefiting you, you got it all misconstrued. That's not your friend. A friend is gonna help you elevate. They're gonna help you get better. If they see you slacking, they're gonna be the first ones to tell you. And they will do so at the risk of losing you. A friend will keep it 100 with you. Whether you like it or not, they're gonna tell you the truth. They are not a yes person. They're gonna tell you what you need to hear not what you want to hear. If you got someone like that in your corner, you have a true friend. You've been blessed by God to have a companion in this life outside of your family. And you better, excuse me y'all, you better cherish that because they don't come around very often. People like that do not come around very often. It is very easy to have someone that you share a common interest with. It's easy to go out and find a drinking buddy or a smoking buddy, whatever it is you do. It's easy to find that or somebody you can commit crimes with and do X, Y, Z, do all the stuff that's not gonna benefit you. All the things that's gonna lead you down the road to destruction. That's easy. How many of your friends are gonna pull you aside and say, 
that's not it, bro. Let's go. Or, hey, man, you slacking a bit, man. What's going on? You need to pull it together. Or someone you can trust with your secrets. Someone who you tell something to and you know that secret is safe with them. How many of y'all got people like that? I wanna read that in the comment section. And if you don't have a true friend, if you don't have anyone like that in your corner, it's okay. It's okay. Not everyone does. A lot of people don't. It is better to be by yourself. It is better to not have any friends than to have fake friends who's gonna hate on you, who's going to, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, that's just not gonna clap for you. They're not in your cheering section. That's competing with you, you know, in a negative way. Competition is cool. Friendly competition is cool. You guys are competing at pool or basketball, whatever the case, see who's better at basketball. Nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with a little bit of light hearted competition. But when they are one upping you, trying to one up you, they frown upon your success. Not a true friend. Not a true friend at all. It doesn't matter to them if you have less than them or more than them. Doesn't matter. That's not why they're with you. They're with you for you. Now, of course, like I said, they see you slacking. They're going to do what they can to elevate you. And they're going to tell you what you need to hear. Not what you want to hear. And don't be offended by a friend who tells you the truth. If you, if you got one that, do, that does that to you, you are indeed blessed. You are indeed blessed. And do not ever do anything to screw that up. Because you might not ever get a friend like that again. It's easy to find people that you can destroy yourself with. They come, they're a dime a dozen. They're a dime a dozen. But a true friend is like the roots of a tree. You can't see the roots of a tree. You don't know those roots are there. Well, you know they're there, but you can't see them. Those roots don't care nothing about being seen. They don't care nothing about, you know, being known by everybody. They'll, nobody got to know that, hey, this is my friend. They are there. And without them, the tree dies. Without the, without the roots, the tree dies. Without your true friends, you're not the same person. They elevate you, they help make you better. You know, they make your life better. They, they, they really improve the quality of your life. So if you have those, count yourself blessed and very fortunate. Again, if you don't have any friends like that, it's all right. Continue to build yourself, enjoy your own company. And some of y'all may be like, man, I don't need any friends. That's overrated, blah, blah, blah. Hey, that's cool too. Not everybody think the same way. But if you are fretting over not having any friends, don't. It's much better to be by yourself than it is having people around you that you don't know if they're really for you or not. Okay? And at the end of the day, when you're in that casket going six feet under, you're gonna be by yourself anyway. Friends are a blessing, but you do not need them to survive. If you don't have them, you'll be all right. Keep your head up. Keep pushing strong through this game called life, all right? Anyway, man, that's all I got for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the chat. If you did, do me a favor, support the video by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Give your chance, give yourself a chance, rather, an opportunity at winning this giveaway. Help, help me get some of the stuff off my hands, you know what I mean? Hit me up in the comment section, let me know your thoughts on the video. And yeah, please share it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got, man, for the video. But until next time, I love you guys. You guys be blessed, man, and take care. This is your big brother, Big Mike, checking out, man. Peace.